welcome back to SS Multimedia. My name is Naman Patil and I'm going to be teaching your lesson today. Today's lesson is going to be all about multiplying fractions. Today's objective is to learn how to multiply fractions. So let me underline some keywords here. So there are only two keywords, multiply and fractions. Multiply we know is times or multiplication and fractions are parts of a whole. So like one half, half of a whole. So it's not a full whole, but it's part of a, it's a part of a whole. Okay. So now that we got those two words down, let's start. First off, I have six problems here that we're gonna solve. So we have three fourths times one fourth. So what we do is to find the answer of a multiplication problem that uses fractions is we do the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. So here we do 3 times 1, which is, or let me just write it down here. Okay, so 3 over 4 and 1 over 4, right? 1 4 and then times. So now we have this equation ready. We can see that a fraction is basically a division problem. So 3 divided by 4 is 3 fourths, right? So something like that. So all we have to do is connect these and then write 2 times. So 3 times 1 and 4 times 4, which is basically what we do to find an answer for a multiplication problem that uses fractions. 3 times 1 equals 3, and 4 times 4 is 16. See, that's the answer. 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. Let me use a brighter color. Okay. So now we have 2 fifths times 4 tenths. So, remember all we have to do is multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 8 as the numerator and 5 times 10 is 50 so we have 50 as the denominator next we have 5 sevenths times 6 sevenths so all we have to do is do 5 times 6 to get the numerator which is 30 so we have 30 as the numerator and 30 over 49 which is the 7 times 7 so this is the answer now we have 3 fifths times 6 tenths. So all we have to do is numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So 3 times 6 is 18. So we have 18 as our numerator. And 5 times 10 is 50. 50 as our denominator. It's fairly simple actually. <laughs> it's just super easy multiplication. Now we have 3 6 times 1 half. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 6 times 2 is 12. Now we have 6 times 10 is, or, sorry, 6 times, sorry, 6 tenths times 5 tenths. 6 times 5 is 30, and 10 times 10 is 100. That was really easy gets really easy after you practice and you master the skill of multiplying. No, I'm just kidding. It's pretty easy. So this was again 3 sixteenths, right? Yep, 3 sixteenths. So now let's do some more. 3 fourths times 1 fourth. Three, 3 times 1 is 3. And 4 times 4 is 16. 3 sixteenths. Now we have 2 fifths times 4 tenths. So if you guys were paying attention, you would have known that you did this problem in the last page. So all we have to do is 2 times 4 is 8. And 5 times 10 is 50. That was just a problem to see if you guys were paying attention. Okay, so next we have 2 sevenths times 6 eighths. All we have to do is 2 times 6 and 7 times 8. So 2 times 6 is 12, so we have 12 as a numerator. 
and 7 times 8 is 56, which is our denominator. 56. Next we have 3 ninths times 5 tenths. So all we have to do is 3 times 5, which is 15, and 9 times 10, which is 90. Now we have 4 times, or 4 sixth times 1 eighth. So 4 times 1 is 4, and 8 times 6 is 48. 4, 48. So now, 6 sevenths times 7 tenths. So all we have to do is 6 times 7, which is, let's see, 7, 14, 21, 28, 28, 35, 42, 42. So 42 is our numerator, and 7 times 10, which is 70, is our denominator. So you see that every time the denominator is bigger or greater than the numerator. Okay? So. Looks like we forgot something that I like to do. So I like to read out the problem right after we finish it. Okay, so now we have 3 fourths times 1 fourth equals 3 sixteenths. 2 fifths times 4 tenths equals 8 fiftieths. 5 sevenths times 6 sevenths equals 30 forty ninths. 3 fifths times 6 tenths equals 18 fiftieths. 3 six times half equals 3 twelfths. 6 tenths times 5 tenths equals 30 one hundredths. Now let's do this page. 3 fourths times 1 fourth equals 3 sixteenths. 2 fifths times 4 tenths equals 8 fiftieths. 2 sevenths times 6 sevenths equals 12 fifty-sixths. 3 ninths times 5 tenths equals 15 ninetieths. 4 eighths times 1 eighth equals 4 forty eighths. I mean, 4 sixths times 1 eighth equals 4 forty eighths. 6 sevenths times 7 tenths equals 42 70, 70 eighths. So I just wanted to read through those to make sure that our answers sound reasonable. Okay? So now I've been doing all the work myself. So I think it's your turn to do some. Equations. Here they are. I'll read these equations out to you, and then you guys can pause the video and solve them. So 7 eighths times 6 eighths equals blank. 4 sixths times 12 twelfths, I mean 9 twelfths, equals blank. 7 eighths times 4 eighths equals blank. 8 ninths times 4 ninths equals blank. 7 ninths times 7 ninths equals blank. 5 6 times 3 6 equals blank. So, now that I've read all of these problems out, it's time that you guys pause the video and solve these by yourselves. By yourself. Come on, I'm waiting. I know you haven't paused the video. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, so you guys should be back by now. Cause, and have your answers ready. Because I'm about to show you the answers. So all we have to do here is 7 times 6, which is 42. So we have 42 here over 8 times 8, which is, let's see, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and 64. 64. So 42 over 64. 64. Okay, now we have 4 6 times 9 twelfths. So 4 times 9 equals 36. 36. And then we have 9, or yes, uh, 6 times 9, I mean 12, is 72. So 36 over 72. Now we have 7 eighths times 4 eighths. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 times 8 is 64. 64. Then we have 8 times 4, which is 24. Or sorry, um, 32. 32.
and then 9 times 9, which is 81. So 32 over 81. Now we have 7 ninths times 7 ninths. So 7 times 7 is 49. 9 times 9 is 81. 5, five 6 times 3 6. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, so now that we have uh, all six answers, you guys can comment down below what you got. If you got all of them right, some of them right, or none of them right. If you got none of them right, perfectly fine. Just remember to keep working. If you got some of them right, still perfectly fine. Just remember to keep working. If you got all of them right, good job. But still, remember to keep working. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now. And it looks like I've forgotten three problems. Dang it. Really hoping I could do it without forgetting those three problems again. So, those three problems are, let's come on, let's build up suspense. Help me out here, guys. Okay, I'm tired of the suspense business. Let's just get this over with. No, this is fun. Just bear with me for like three more, three, three more problems, okay? The first problem is, remember to like this video. The second problem is, remember to share this video to everyone you know. And the third problem is, remember to smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, ring that notification bell too. Just to be nice to me. No, I'm just kidding. You guys will get notified every time SS Multimedia makes a new video. Well, that's it for now. See you in the next one.